everybody, it's story time with Alicia again. And today our theme is going to be fall and the, everything that entails like Halloween, leaves changing, things like that. And so the craft we're gonna do a story and a song like normal and the craft we're gonna do is um, we're gonna paint some leaves and use them at kind of like stamps, make little prints of leaves that we can collect outside. So the first thing I'm gonna do is sing a song and today's song is more like a kind of a chant than a song but it goes like this. Way up high in the apple tree two little apples were smiling down at me. I shook that tree as hard as I could and down came the apples. Mmm, they were good. So today's book is called The Halloween Tree. The Christmas tree farm bustled with excitement. Carols played as families moved up and down the rows of tall pine trees exclaiming, this one is beautiful or that one is perfect. Looking at the fancy decorated tree at the front, one sapling grumbled, I don't like lights, I don't like decorations, and I don't like people. Can you tell which one said that? What do you think? I think this one. As trees disappeared off the lot, the little tree mumbled, I don't want to be a Christmas tree. I never want to leave this spot. The little tree listened as the other saplings buzzed with anticipation. I can't wait, a sprout whispered. Colored lights, one side. I hope I get a star on my top, said another. The little tree grumbled, I don't want to become a Christmas tree and I'm not going to. Ooh, a little spider found him. As the little tree grew, its limbs became gnarled and twisted. Every time needles sprouted, thoughts of being decorated with lights and ornaments made them turn brown and fall off. The tree looked nothing like the others. One day, all the trees on the lot disappeared, all except one. He's getting big now. Eventually, houses began to appear, and with houses came families. By then, the tree had grown tall and broad. Its limbs were twisted and covered with strange knobs. One summer, the tree heard children's voices coming up near and scoffed, Ugh, people. Yikes, a boy named Ben cried. That tree looks grumpy. I like it, his sister Sarah said as she touched a branch. It's so creepy, I dare you to climb it, their friend Thomas challenged her. Sarah pulled herself up into the tree and sat on a cozy bough. It's a pirate ship, she shouted and waved for the others to join her. All the children climbed aboard. When the neighborhood kids needed a hideout, the tree became their fort. When they played astronauts and aliens, it was their spaceship. And one foggy day, the tree even turned into a dragon. When winter came, a cold wind blew and the children didn't come outside to play. The tree with its limbs empty stood all alone. On a snowy afternoon, the tree watched as Sarah and Ben's father carried a large bundle into the house. That night, a Christmas tree appeared in the window. 
I don't like lights, I don't like decorations, and I don't like people, the tree whispered, but it couldn't turn away. The next year, the same thing happened. The kids played in the branches until the snow began to fall, and the tree wished for lights, decorations, and people, things it had never wanted before. One spring, the tree tried to make its needles grow properly, but after years of trying to stop them, they came in looking all wrong. By summer, they had fallen off. A few months later, Sarah and Ben's parents were decorating for Halloween. Their father looked across the yard and said, That is one horrible old tree. We should cut it down, their mother agreed. Not now, the tree thought. Not now that my limbs are full of happy children. Up in the branches, Sarah whispered, No, they can't. We have to save our tree, Thomas cried. I know what to do, Ben said, and whispered his plan to the other kids. They climbed down and raced away to gather supplies. When they came back, Ben was already up in the tree wedging a huge jack-o'-lantern in a nook. They all climbed up and from the tree's branches they hung white and orange lights, cobwebs made from string, rubber spiders, cardboard cats and bats, ghosts, witches and skeletons. That night, the parents and all the neighbors gathered to admire the tree. The children danced beneath shouting, Trick or tree! looks happy now. I guess I was wrong, the tree thought. I do like lights, I do like decorations, and I do like people. I love being a Halloween tree. The end. Okay, so today's craft is we're gonna make some leaf stamp pictures. So we're going to basically use these leaves as stamps. So what you'll need is some blank pieces of paper, um, paintbrush, some paints. It can be, these are acrylic paints. It can be acrylic or tempura, whatever kind of paints you want. And then um, a paper plate to, or whatever kind of a container you want to squirt the paints out on. And you need to collect a bunch of very nice fall leaves. They don't even have to be fall leaves. They could be they could be green, still living leaves. Um, you want them to be not so hard and brittle. You want them to be a little bit soft because that will work better. And so basically what we're gonna do is we're just gonna paint the back of a leaf. So the you wanna paint the side that has the ridges, right? You don't wanna, don't wanna paint on this side where it's as smooth because this way, if you paint that side, you'll get some nice um, patterns on your paper. So what we're gonna do is, uh, since this is a red leaf, I'll pick a different color for it. Maybe I'll do a blue. So we just take some blue paint, take some whatever color you want, and make sure you have newspaper down or something so you don't get paint all over your table. And then you wanna just paint over the leaf. And you don't want a ton of paint on it, just a little, but cover the whole thing. And then don't leave big globs. Try to make it paint it out as much as you can. And then you can take the leaf and on your paper, you just want to pick a spot for it and just push it down. Oops, <laughs> and then pick it up and it leaves. A little cool mark, you can see the little veins in it and everything. So that's basically it. And if you take your time to really paint all the little bits of the, of the leaf and really make it even, you can maybe get an exact picture of a leaf. So we'll do a few more and then we'll see what our picture looks like at the end. 
Okay, so this is what I got with my little experiment with leaf stamps. Um, some colors worked better than others. It's, I think if your paint is thicker and not so watery, it works better. I had a silver that was a little watery, a little runny, and it didn't work so well. But the other paints worked pretty good. And so you see how I painted different colors on the, each leaf sometimes, too. We could do one color or more, so we ended up having a leaf that looked like this. So then you can even use this in another craft or something. Find something, something fun to do with these pretty painted leaves you just made. They look pretty themselves. So that's it. That's the craft for today. Hope you guys have fun collecting a bunch of pretty leaves and making little leaf stamps. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.